is going to be a book review but sort of more on an activity book. You've probably read it from the title, you've either searched for a specific review of this book or you're just stumbling upon it because you're subscribed to my channel and that is the Navigator's Council book. This is a book that has been made by Jeremy, Jeremy and Audrey Roloff. They are um, from the show Little People Big World and that is a show that me and my mum have been following religiously like since I was a kid we've like grown up with it and um, so if you've not seen that you may not know who they are but they are a married couple who live in Oregon and they have a very strong bond with their marriage um, they are both Christians and um, that features heavily in their marriage and um, they ended up creating this book and the um, beating 50% slogan and sort of movement. So if you've not heard the beating 50% movement, it is about obviously beating the 50% of people that get divorced. As I am filming this, Darren and I have been married for around six months now and we got married back in September last year and this is something that I knew that I wanted to buy for us to start as soon as we got married. And um, so basically it is a marriage journal and in it you sit down every week and you work through a couple pages. So every week you get a devotional um, or a little scripture as such each week focusing on a different theme. So this one that I flicked to is Hope and it's written either by Audrey or Jeremy and um, it often has um, a Bible verse in it. It will go through what the meaning of that word is, how it can be incorporated into your marriage and what you can work on. And then on the other page, it's got a calendar. At the top, you can write in the date and there's also a room for notes. And then on the next page, you have six questions. They are the same questions every week, except for every four weeks you get monthly questions as well added in. And you just fill out these six questions together every week and it helps you sort of put down on paper how your week went, what was good about it, what was bad, what maybe you needed to resolve and that is your time to maybe resolve that in your relationship and what you can think about and look forward to in the next week. Um, so, like I said, this is R1. On the back, you've got a place to put your names and um, the year. So obviously, I'll start in 2017, so it's 2017 and 18. Um, this is volume one. We started it um, one week into our marriage. So we got married on Sunday, the 17th of September, and we completed our first week the week after which was the 25th of September um, and we've been married exactly one week and now every Sunday night we will sit down usually it's when we're in bed um, we so we're already sat down we will put our technology down and really focus on the book and answering our questions together and reflecting on the past week and it's a really nice intimate moment that we can have together not um, being interrupted by anything and really getting out like especially if maybe you've got a very busy work week and you've not had a lot of time to maybe talk about your true feelings and things this is a place you can do that and a time that's dedicated for that um so let me go through it so on the front you have a week um by week of what each word will be um a little foreword written by another couple and then it sort of goes into what the journal's about, um, how you can use it. If you want more information on it, obviously I will link all of the links down below to 50% where you can buy this book um, and Audrey and Jeremy's like Instagram, things like that. There's a letter from them and then it goes in straight into your first week. Um, so I'll just show you, this was our first week that um, we did and it obviously joy and in it we were obviously on our honeymoon so I wrote in a couple of things that we did that week at the bottom I put we've been married exactly one week as we're filling this out on Sunday the 24th and I sort of plan this week is sort of what will be coming up in the next week so 
that's sort of a look ahead where we can put in anything important that's happening any dates um, or events that we need to remember and then I won't show you because obviously it's personal but we've written in um, all the different things that have happened and um, we have been doing this now for 27 weeks so we're about halfway through the book um, and as you can see some weeks we don't have a lot to write some weeks we have a lot to write I will go through what the questions are so you get an idea so uh, the first one is what brought you joy this week so we ask each other things that were maybe quite positive that week what we enjoyed what was happy that sort of thing and we always try and no matter what try and put something in that box no matter how big or small it is um, to find joy in everything about the week um, the next one is what was something that was hard this week work comes up a lot in that one um, one specific thing I can do for you this week so really asking your spouse what can I do for you what's going to be beneficial for our relationship um, what do you need help with this week that sort of thing uh, the next one is there any unconfessed sin conflict or hurt that we need to resolve and or seek forgiveness for um, often we don't have too much to write in that We're quite early on in our relationship we are still what they would say the honeymoon stage um, but people start this at any point of their um, marriage you could start this a year in five years in ten years in 30 years in no matter what um, I actually have just recommended this to my friend who's in a sort of a long distance relationship she's not married yet but she is thinking of starting this book um, Back to the questions, um, what is a dream, craving or desire that has been on the forefront of your mind? Uh, number six, how can I pray for you this week? And then the two monthly questions are, how are we stewarding our finances and how is our sex life? So they cut two come up every four weeks. Um, so that is sort of the fundamentals of this book. Um, so now I'll sort of give you my thoughts and opinions. Um, like I said, I love that we can sit down every week and just do this together have that interrupted time together it does as you can tell there is quite a heavy focus on religion and christianity there's a lot of bible verses and they talk about praying darren and i aren't that religious um we don't ever go to church we don't typically pray um we don't typically look to god for advice that sort of thing so in a way that could put some people off but I don't think there is enough of that to put you completely off this book I would still say from someone that isn't very heavy on religion I can sometimes skip through the bible verses um, that they include and then the rest is still quite relevant um, how can I pray for you this week um, it's just something that like for us it's like how can that person be in the forefront of our mind how can we help them that week that sort of thing that's how we sort of interpret it um it, you can tweak it to sort of how you want um but if you are religious this is absolutely perfect for you um a couple of things i wanted to note um i would have liked there to have been this is a really small thing i would have liked there to be like a little um ribbon bookmark in it just so you can really easily flick to the last week and um, be able to find where you are in the book I think that would be really helpful um, but again that's just just a small thing I've already mentioned about how religious it is um, I've got a couple of little notes um, I do think sometimes the questions can get a little repetitive because it's the same questions every week with those two monthly questions um, and sometimes I wouldn't like them to be maybe slightly worded differently or have maybe 12 questions that are um, maybe switched every other week. Um, so you have six, one set of six one week, one set of six another week. Um, I get the fact of continuity and it's good to look back. And there's definitely questions like what brought you joy this week and what was hard this week that are great. Um, but sometimes it can feel a little repetitive uh, that's just what I think sometimes um, the other thing is I feel like we do this on Sunday I don't pick this book up with Darren until the next Sunday like we never really look in this during the week and I would have liked there to be something that you can have alongside this um, they did address it how you could put like a post-it note on the front of what sort of 
you're doing to help that person that week, what you're doing to help your spouse and how you're praying for them that week. So you can see it visually on the front. But for me, I would have liked maybe something that you can do like that, that you can maybe put on the fridge. So we can both look at it every day. That is probably the place we go to most in the kitchen. Um, we can see it in the morning, see it in the evening, uh, that we can go to and see what we're supposed to be sort of focusing on that week, what the week's word is. Um, and you could just have like a little supplementary sort of um, notebook like that you can stick on the fridge maybe that you could sort of... Um, you would have, for instance, stewardship and it would have stewardship on top, just maybe a couple sentences reflecting on that and then have like, we can write in sort of what we're, we're um, planning on doing that week, um, how we're planning on praying for each other, that sort of thing. Um, so those are sort of my forefront notes on the book. I am going to get Darren in a second just so he can th sort of throw in his two cents what he thinks of the book. Um, and you can get it from a couple's perspective. This is obviously just my opinion. Um, we've been doing it for six months now, so I feel like we have a fairly good understanding of the book. It's definitely something that I plan on continuing with and um, definitely buying for our next year of marriage. So yeah, I'm gonna go get Darren and see if he's got anything else to add. So I've brought Darren into the equation, seeing as he's the other half of the person that fills this out with me. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? Yes, I think it goes very good. It's very good. I really enjoy it because we get to ask how each other's week is and to get everything off our chest. So if anything does happen, then you should get it off your chest straight away, but it gives the opportunity to get it off your chest because a lot of couples <laughs> don't speak. Um, yeah, we it's, know, a, it's a good way to sort of communicate. Yeah, because we know one or two people that don't speak and they're stubborn as each other, so... <coughs> Parents. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it just gives you the opportunity to, um, yeah, speak to each other and communicate. It sort of forces the situation. Yeah. But no, it does help your marriage. And, uh, and we do listen to our points. So, also, it make it doesn't make us do nice things for each other, but it sort of puts a reminder in the back of your head to say, oh, she asked me to do this this week, or this nice thing for her, and I, I promised this. So, yeah, I think it's good overall. It's good for your marriage, and uh, it's good for us. Ow. Mm -hmm. Is that all you got? Uh, I know, it's fine with it. Yeah, I yeah. suppose. So that was our little review on the book. Uh, let me know if you've partaken in it, what you think of it. If you plan on maybe purchasing this book. I'll leave all the links down below. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye guys. Good internet. Right, we need to see the thumbnail now. What? <sighs> A thumbnail. Pardon? A thumbnail. A thumbnail? A picture. I, I'm in the mood yeah. for a picture. Go on, Darren.